Okay, so let us apply the concept of systems of linear equations in two variables to real life situations to solve real life problems. So paano nga ba ano po ba yung mga real life problems na yon na involve po yung systems of linear equations in two variables? Okay, for example, we have the problem. In a pasture, there are horses and chickens. If there are a total of 28 animals and 80 legs, how many chickens and horses are there? So, ang una po natin gagawin yan, lagi, kapag nagsusolve po tayo ng word problem, lagi po natin gagawin ang representation. So, una po tayong mag-represent po muna. So, mag-let a certain variable po tayo to represent that yung mga nandito po sa problem. So, let x be the number of horses. Kasi yung pinag-usapan po natin dito, uh, horses saka chickens. Ko, ang tinatanong po dito ay chickens saka horses. So, dito po tayo mag-represent mag ng mga variables. So, kunwari, ang x mo ay yung bilang ng horses. And then, yung y ay number ng chickens naman. Pagkatapos nun, pagkatapos mong mag-represent, gagawa ka po ng equations. So, paano ka po gagawa ng equation? So, base po dito sa situation, dito sa problem. Ang sabi po dito, merong horses at chickens sa pasture. Tapos, may total na 28 animals. So, ibig sabihin nun, kung ang X ay number ng horses at Y yung number ng chickens, kapag ipag-add daw po natin yung bilang ng horses at chickens, ang sum nun ay 28, kasi 28 animals daw eh. At ang pinag-usapan lang ng mga animals dito ay horses at chickens. So, we can have an equation of x plus y is equal to 28. And then, pagkatapos nun, iisipin po natin, ang pinag-usapan din po ay yung mga legs po nila. Ang sabi, ang, ang sum ng legs po ng uh, mga animals doon ay 80. So, titingnan natin, ilan nga bang mga legs meron or ilang mga paaba meron ang horses? So, meron, merong apat. Ibig sabihin nun, yung 4, ita times po natin kay x. So, 4x, that is uh, para doon sa horses po. And then, sa chickens, may dalawang paalam po yung meron, di ba, sa chickens. So, ibig sabihin nun, 2 times yung bilang po nung chicken na y. So, 4x plus 2y is equal to ang sum po nun ay 80. So, in short, meron po tayong system of linear equations na x plus y is equal to 28 at 4x plus 2y is equal to 80. So, isusolve po natin ito gamit po ng kahit mang aling method sa pagsusolve po ng system of linear equations. So, ito, mas magandang isolve to by substitution method. Okay? So, ayan. Ito po yung system na nabubuo po natin from the problem. x plus y is equal to 28 and 4x plus 2y is equal to 80. So, by substitution method, pwede natin isolve po ang y in the first equation in terms of x. So, we have this one. y is equal to negative x plus 28. So, ito na po yung initial value ng y in terms of x sa first equation. So, gamit po ang initial value na ito ng y in terms of x, isa substitute po natin to sa y doon sa pangalawang equation. Okay, tulad po ng ginawa lang po kanina sa substitution method. So, ayan po siya. Ito po yung pangalawang equation. 4x plus 2y is equal to 80. Bali, yung y papalitan po ng initial value po ng y sa first equation. Ito po. So, bali yung 2, kopyahin mo lang po yan, times yung value, initial value ng y, which is negative x plus 28. Then, yung 4x, dahil wala ka pa namang ginawa dyan, copy lang po muna yan. Yung 80 equals 80, copy lang din po muna yan. Then, isa-simplify po natin itong nandito by multiplication. So, 2 times negative x, that is negative 2x. 2 times 28, that is positive 56. So, bali meron po tayong 4x minus 2x. Plus 56 is equal to 80. So, yung mga may x po dito, ipag-combine po natin. 4x minus 2x, that is 2x. And then, yung 56e, combine po natin yan dito sa may 80. 
Then, mag magkatulad po silang constant. So, 80 minus 56 na po yan. Dahil yung 56, ilipat po natin sa kanan, sa negative 56 po yan. And then, 80 minus 56, that is 24. Copy lang po yung 2x. And then, divide both sides by 2. x is equal to 12. So, ito na po yung bilang ng... Ano nga ba yung x po natin? Yung x po ay bilang ng horses. Ayan, so nasolve na po yung x. Kasunod, syempre, isolve po yung bilang ng chicken. So, yung y. So, gamit po yung... Uh, kahit alin dun sa dalawang equations na yun, so mas magandang gagamitin ko yung force equation. Dahil, uh, ang coefficients lang ng mga x and y ay mga positive 1. So, hindi mahirap isolve. So, x plus y is equal to 28. In uh, slope intensive form, that is y is equal to negative x plus 28. So, pwedeng gamitin ko yung slope intensive form. Tapos, yung x papalitan ng na 12. Then, just copy negative sign. Ito na dito. Then, yung x palitan ng 12, yung nasolve po kanina na value ng x. And then, copy, 28. Negative 12 plus 28, that is positive, 16. Just copy y. So, ibig sabihin, ito na po yung value ng y. So, ang bilang po ng chickens ay 16. Pero, syempre, checking po muna. x plus y is equal to 28. Kung 12 yung x, ang y ay 16. Copy equals 28. 12 plus 16, that's 28. So, pumantay naman po siya sa kanan. So, ibig sabihin, tama doon sa first equation. Sa pangalawang equation kaya, 4x plus 2y is equal to 80. 4 times 12 yung value po ng x, plus 2 times yung value po ng y, which is 16, then copy equals 80. 4 times 12, that is 48, plus 2 times 16, that's 32, copy equals 80. 48 plus 32, that is 80 equals 80. So, pantay naman. Ibig sabihin nun, ang bilang nga pala talaga ng horses ay 12 at ang chickens ay 16. So, there are 12 horses and 16 chickens in the pasture. So, tandaan po. Sa pagsasolve po ng word problems, ang una pong gagawin ay gagawa ka po ng representation. Representation. Sunod, equation. Sunod, syempre isosolve mo, solution. Sunod, checking, and then answer. O, tandaan nyo to ha, reska. Tandaan nyo si reska. R for representation, E for equation, S for solution, C for checking, and A for answer. Okay, another example. We have... This problem, Matt and Ming are selling fruit for a school fundraiser. Uh, customers can buy small boxes of oranges and large boxes of oranges. So, there are two variables involved here. Yung small boxes ng oranges at large boxes ng oranges. Matt sold 3 small boxes of oranges and 14 large boxes of oranges for a total of 203 pesos. Ming sold 11 small boxes of oranges and 11 large boxes of oranges for a total of 220 pesos. Now, find the cost of each uh, cost of each uh, one small box of oranges and one large box of oranges. So, una, gagawa po tayo representation. X be the small boxes. Dalain po yung tinatanong Small boxes po, alamin po natin kung magkano yung cost po. And then, why para sa large boxes, cost ng large boxes ng oranges. And then, equations. So, according to the problem, si Matt daw, nakasold po siya ng tatlong small boxes ng oranges at 14 large boxes of oranges na ang total ng cost nun ay 203. So, 3x yung sa small boxes plus 14y yung sa large boxes that is equal to 203. And then, para kay Ming naman, nakasold po siya ng 11 na small boxes, so 11x, plus 11 large boxes, so 11y, and the total of yung na kita po niya ay 220. So, ito na po yung magiging equation po natin, or equations. So, ibig sabihin, system of linear equations ang kaharap natin. Okay. So, ang gagawin po natin dyan, 
so solve po natin by substitution method. So, ito na po yung isa sa uh, example ng uh, system of linear equations na wala sa kahit alin man sa variables na mayroong coefficients na coefficient na positive 1. So, no choice po tayo, kundi mamili lang po tayo kahit alin po dito sa dalawang variables, dalawang equations na to para gawin po natin slope intercept form. Kasi kung mag-elimination naman po tayo, wala din po sa kanilang dalawa ang may magka-opposite na coefficients. Magkatulad yung number sa coefficient, pero magkaiba yung signs. So, mag, mag ano po tayo, substitution method. We are going to solve for y in terms of x sa second equation po. Mas magaan po sa second equation dahil magkatulad po yung coefficients po nila ng x and y. Okay, so 11x plus 11y is equal to 220. Pag ililipat ko po yung 11x to the other side, so magiging negative 11x po. Just copy plus 20. And then, dividing both sides of the equation by 11, ayan, 11y divided by 11 is y, and then yung negative 11x divided by negative, uh, positive 11, that is negative x. And then, 220 divided by 11, that is positive 20. So, ito na po ang initial value ng y in terms of x. So, naka-slope intercept form po, po siya. So, gagamitin po natin yan, isubstitute po natin doon sa isa pang equation. 3x plus 14y is equal to 203. So, 3x copy lang po, plus 14 yung times yung value ng initial value ng y, which is negative x plus 20. And then, copy equals 203. Then, copy 3x. Ito, i-distribute po natin by multiplication. 14 times negative x, that's ne that is negative 14x. Then, 14 times positive 20, that is 220. And then, copy equals 203. Then, yung 3x sa negative 14x, ipag-combine po natin by uh, subtraction dahil magkaiba pong signs po nila. So, we have negative 11x. Kinupya po yung mas ma may mataas ang absolute value. Then, yung 220, isama ko po yan kay 203. So, bale, 203 minus... Ah, no, no, sorry, sorry. 14 times 20, that is 280. Okay, this is 280. 280. Okay, so this time, the 280 will be transposed to the other side. Okay, let's check. 14 times 20. Okay. So, 0 times 4, that is 0. 2 times 4, that is 8. Okay. So, 2 times 1, that is 2. So, that's 280 actually. Okay. So, we have 3, 3x minus 14x plus 280. That's equal to 203. This 280 will be transposed to the other side, kaya po magiging negative 280. So, 203 minus 280, that is negative 77. Just copy negative 11x, then divide both sides by negative 11, that is uh, x is equal to positive 7. So, ito na po yung value ng x. Okay. Now, and sa checking, syempre, uh, ano, no, no. So, y... For the value of y, kasi initial value pa lang po yung nasolve natin ganina. So, yung value ng y, masusolve po natin gamit ang alinman sa dalawang equation. So, I am going to use 11x plus 11y is equal to 220. And then, in slope intercept form, ganito po siya. y is equal to negative x plus 20. Yung kanina, kung naalala nyo, the, the, the initial value of y. So, itong x, palitan po ng 7, copy lang po yung negative, and then copy plus 20, copy y. Then, y is equal to yung negative 7 plus 20, that is positive 13. So, meron na po tayong value ng x at value ng y. So, value ng x na 7, value ng y na 13. So, check po natin kung tama po ba yun. Do the checking. So, 3x plus 14y is equal to 203. 3 times 7, that's 21. 14 times yung 13 po yung na-solve na y. 
Okay, that is 182. And then copy po yung equals 203. Equals 203. Copy lang po. 21 plus 182, that is 203. Copy 203. At the right side. So, pantay naman po ibig sabihin na satisfied yung unang equation. Sa pangalawang equation, we have 11x plus 11y is equal to 220. So, yung x ay 7, yung y ay 13. Copy po yung iba pa dyan. 11 times 7, that's 77. 11 times 13, that's 143. And then copy po 220. 77 plus 143, that is 220. Copy po equals 220. So, pantay naman po, ibig sabihin nun, na satisfied din po yung pangalawang equation. In short, ang magiging sagot po natin ay, ang bilang po ng small oranges, and the small oranges cost 7 pesos each box. And the large oranges cost 13 pesos each box. Okay, another example. We have the difference of two numbers is uh, 3. This is 3. There is sum is 13. And then find the two numbers or find the numbers. So, una gagawa po tayo ng representation. Meron pong dalawang numbers. So, let x be the larger number. And y be the smaller number. So, equations. Ang sabi po, kapag ipag-subtract po natin, the difference is 3. So, x minus y is equal to 3. And then, the sum is 13. So, x plus y is 13. So, system of linear equations po ulit to. Kasunod, isosolve po. Dahil yung system of linear equations na yun ay mas magandang isolve po natin by elimination method. Dahil yung kanilang variables po ay meron pong opposite na coefficients, yung variable y. So, by addition, mawawala po yung variable y. So, we have x plus x, that is 2x, negative y plus y, that is 0y, 3 plus 13, that is 16. 2x is equal to 16, so divide lang po by 2, x therefore is 8. So, isosolve na po natin yung y. So, use the first equation to solve for y. Yung unang equation ay x plus y is equal to 13. Actually, kahit alin po sa dalawang equations. So, yung first equation lang po ang gagamitin ko. x plus y is equal to 13. Ang x ay 8. Copy plus y equals 13. And then, copy y is equal to 13 minus 8. So, y is equal to 5. So, pagkatapos na, syempre checking. X minus Y is equal to 3 for the first equation. Ang X ay 8, ang Y ay 5. So, 8 minus 5 is equal to, copy lang po yung 3. 8 minus 5, that is equal to 3. Copy lang po yung 3 sa kanan. So, pantay naman po yung kaliwa at kanan. Na satisfied po yung unang equation. Pangalawang equation, X plus Y is equal to 13. Kapag ipag plus po natin yung X na 8, saka yung Y na 5, Ang sagot po ay 13. Kinupi lang po yung nasa kanan na 13. So, nakikita nyo pantay po yung kaliwa at kanan. Ibig sabihin, satisfied din po yung pangalawang equation. So, in short, ang dalawang numbers po ay... Oh, no, no, sorry. So, the two numbers would be 8 and 5. So, the answers, our answers would be Okay, 8 and 5, the two numbers. Okay, so that's all.